How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty. My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young. A place near your altar, Lord Almighty, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs, and the autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go from strength to strength till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on our shield, O God. Look with favour on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favour and honour. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. I read this psalm to you on the 21st of March 2020 as part of what was the, the first uh, devotional message that was being delivered uh, each Friday at the beginning of uh, lockdown. And I thought that I would read it again for what is uh, my final devotional message to you uh, today. It seems to me that that psalm is as relevant and as poignant now as it was then. At the time, I was saying to you that although we were going to be isolated from each other, we were not going to be isolated from God. And that even although it may feel and seem like we were going into the valley of Baca that would be dry and arid, that we would find these refreshing springs, that we would be surprised that the blessings that we would receive the things that we would learn about ourselves and about our God. And as I reflect on these past, whatever, 14 months, I've been thinking about the things that I have learnt about myself and about my God. The things that perhaps I now look at as blessings, even during what has been such a difficult and a, and a, a trying time. Over these past four months, I've come to appreciate more of the fact that God is sovereign. He is in control. I've often felt like a spectator, privileged almost to have uh, one of these front row seats, watching God at work and seeing him as the sovereign God who is indeed in control of all things. And because of that, I've learned to trust him more. I've also come to appreciate more of the fact that God is good. Over these months, he has provided, he has blessed, he has kept, he has carried. And as a result, I've learned to depend on him more, depending on him day by day for, for everything. Over these past 14 months, I've also come to appreciate that God is close, that he is near us, that he is ever-present. And because of that, I've come to enjoy him more. The chief end of man is to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. I've come to enjoy more of the presence of God and the presence of Christ, even at a time when we've been isolated from so many other things and other people. I suppose if I was to sum it up, I've come to appreciate more of the fact that God is love and therefore I love him more. As I look back and I think of March 2020 and compare it to May 2021, I can say that I trust God more, I depend on him more, I enjoy him more and I love him more. It has been a difficult time. There have been many, many moments that have felt very dark, 
And yet, in it all, God has been there bringing blessing, the blessings that we find in Jesus, his Son. I pray that as you reflect on the past 14 months, a time that maybe for you also has been like going through the valley of Vaca, that you too can reflect and think of times when you have really known the blessing of God in your lives and that you can see the ways in which you have learnt about yourself and learnt also uh, about him. I want to take just a wee time just now to, to thank you. I want to, to thank you for the privilege, the honour that you have given to me to be moderator over this past year, indeed these past two years, and the honour and the privilege of delivering these Friday messages. I, I want to thank you for the privilege that you've bestowed on me that has enabled me to serve my Christ in this way. But I also want to thank you for the overwhelming amount of messages of appreciation and support and encouragement. The other thing I have learnt is what a precious thing it is to be part of the family of God. And so thank you with all my heart. I want to, to finish today with a prayer. A prayer for you, but a prayer that comes from Scripture. I want to pray the, 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 the prayer of, of uh, the Apostle Paul when he uh, wrote to the church in Ephesus. And in that prayer he says this, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. And I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have the power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now, to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power that's at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. I pray that you will all know God's continued blessing in your life and ask that you continue to remember each other and pray for each other as well. And pray for what will be your new moderator, the Reverend Neil McMillan, who will uh, be inducted into that position next week at the uh, assembly. Do pray for him and Louise and pray that they will know God's blessing uh, throughout this uh, new moderatorial year. Take care and God bless. <laughs>